Hey folks, Bob here. So I need to put some uh, Freon in my Dakota. This should be the same principle on most cars. But uh, put, last time I put Freon in, it was last uh, September, early September. It's uh, late May. It made it all through, uh, I'm in North Carolina, so the falls of North Carolina can be a little hot. And the springs can be a little hot. And even this winter wasn't that bad. I think I ran the air conditioning a couple of times during the wintertime. Got up in the 80s a couple of times in uh, January and December. So uh, as you can see, the compressor right here is the compressor. And if you look at the front, the clutch, you'll see it turning. Right now it's turning. Clutch is engaged and it just stopped. So it's only cycling for a few seconds. So it's very low on Freon. All right, there it goes again. So I'm going to put my gauge on it. Look at the gauge right here to the low side. That will show you how low it is, okay? All right, here's my gauge. Bought it at the local parts store. And it accepts the newer style with the resealable cans. I'll show you more about that in a minute. It's got a little gauge built into it. And it's just a quick disconnect. Nothing fancy. And you can see it's dropping to the low side, so it needs uh, it needs refilling as it clutch engages. should hold that pretty steady so that clutch should run all the time so it says uh this is the resealable can with a little red dot in it a little red bladder but to shake these up i've always heard some people say you don't have to i like to shake them up so let me do that right quick and i'll hook this thing up it just simply screws in you're right back all right as you can see i got the can screwed on i don't like the way it went on it went a little crooked let's see what happens I think I got a defective can or something. Pull that one trigger. I can feel the can getting a little bit cold. The pressure is definitely packing longer. It's getting cold. He's definitely taking it in there now. One can out can do it, I think. I'm going to stop and get some more can. As a matter of fact, I may buy stuff off of Amazon. I get a case of off Amazon. It's pretty cheap. Ooh, that can is getting cold. Yeah, that compressor is, that clutch is staying on a long time now. Right, let's move this trigger off. Trigger back on. Still got a lot in the can, buddy. Look how long that compressor is cycling now. Look at that. Yeah, I was uh, got up in the mid 80s today, and I was driving home and wasn't blowing out very cold air. Getting the cold, I can't hardly hold it. Let me switch hands here. All right, I think we just about got the can empty. It feels awful light and it's starting to warm up. 
not as cold as it was, so we probably need to put another can in it. And I don't have another can, so I gotta stop and get some more or get some off Amazon. But that's clutch has been on the entire time, probably three or four minutes now, so it's uh, definitely got a lot more in it. And I've heard people say you have to turn them upside down. And others say you don't. I don't know. What the hell? But this this little thing here is handy. It gives you an actual reading. It's not getting any better, so it probably needs another can. I bought that at the local parts store, so it's simply undo it right there. Put the cap back on it. Always put the cap back on. There we go. A little hard to do with the left hand, not left handed. So I'll put this in the truck. I added a can of stop leak to it last uh, summer, late, late summer, August, I guess it was. I kept, it was. I put a can of free on it, it leaked right back out three or four days. I uh, did a leak detector that's coming up from the evaporator, which these Dakotas are kind of known for shop wanted it could put the exact price it's somewhere between 800 to 1500 dollars labor wanted to go ahead and put a condenser on it too and the hoses and i said good lord i said let me try some stop leak first and if i got to replace all that stuff might as well right i mean you know everybody said well the stop leak's gonna stop everything up so i only used a half a can and it worked it got this thing where it uh survived i think put two cans in it one in august and another one in early september and uh, man, it lasted all the way till late May. So if I can get through the summer with three cans, I'll be plum tickled. That's all I got to say. And I only used a half a can of that stop leak. And so it's, uh, well, I was looking at it. If it stopped it up, I had to replace everything anyway. So. All right, folks, I hope that this, this thing here is pretty easy. The R134A, I mean 134A, Bridget, and it, that hose, reusable gauge and hose gives you the reading. That's all you need to put your, you don't need the big gauges and all that. You just want to add a little can of Freon. You can stay cool during the summer. Folks, hit that thumbs up. Hit that like button. And uh, just trying to keep you uh, cool during the summer. It's real easy to do. Later, folks. Bob out.